while since I played without a distant land if it gets too weird I'll re-enable it we'll see how it goes for now we want to talk to our good friend right here because he has he has all all of our gear now oh, there you are clan sister the wise woman is sending you gear as promised now for this one I have merged uh, two mods together <laughs> two mods together I created this guy and I placed him here right here uh, the first mod that I've merged is uh, starting equipment and it gives you all kinds of things based on the skills that you have so I was taught a destruction spell really an alteration spell I get that conjuration makes sense mysticism makes sense okay so mostly I'm taught spells and given some basic gear there you are da 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 and the second mod that I merged with that is class ability another mod I don't play with that and this one actually has the shaman class because it's actually a vanilla class call a wolf companion I would actually change the spell to uh, spirit wolf or something like that something closer to uh, in Baldur's Gate you know the, the druid they can have a, a spirit totem oh they call it totem animal I remember now you're pretty sure the distant land shows vanilla tree it's rather odd to get closer to tree and suddenly have it grow threefold I don't think it would grow it's just the, the color of the leaves are different or there are no leaves if it's winter so it would be a little odd I mean we'll try both and uh, and then you'll tell me how you feel anyway I'm gonna take that it makes sense for a shaman so I accept and I get uh, very simple stuff the important thing is I get my inkwell and my quill so that I may take notes of my adventures I was actually uh, considering using a mod called DIY journal that I absolutely adore where essentially all the journal entries from the game we're talking vanilla are empty so when you talk to a character you have to take notes yourself and I really really like that because it's um, old school I guess and you can really tell the story you know with your voice rather than that rather generic voice that the journal gives you but then I realized it would be pretty boring for you guys to just look at me go oh no it would be too boring so I keep I keep the journal entries not to mention that quest entries are still there all right we have stuff we have better stuff this we want it's pretty good increasing my my um, hand to hand there's a lot of gear that I don't need so we're gonna do two things we're gonna see what else we have in there I'm gonna take the bottle because I know I'm going to need both of them to drink ingredients hopefully we'll be able to have something useful nice uh, nice sounds for the sound replacer I'm using um, Morrowind acoustic overhaul we'll see how it goes all right we got the stuff I'm resting the only reason why I'm resting is because I know I need to rest for the quest to kick in I had a strange dream in my nightmare a tall figure in a golden mask appeared to me he gestured toward a burning mountain and with an eerie laughter disappeared into darkness perhaps I should seek out a wise woman to help me understand these bizarre visions of mine this is what uh, Ashlando prophecy does it actually starts you in a yurt as a dumna and um, and it modifies the beginning of the main quest how does that mod interact with quests when the journal contains information that the NPC didn't actually tell you then uh, then you'd better <laughs> then it's tricky but typically I find that yeah you, you're right prof typically 
the, the, the journal entry is going to have more information than the dialogue that you read but um, I guess it just makes things a little harder to find what else is new with Morrowind right but still I, I really enjoyed it for now this is what's gonna happen There's going to be typos and that's fine. I'm not going to hit uh, backspace 25 times because the arrow cursor doesn't work. I should really return to the camp and... Okay, I can backspace for a three. And speak with a wise woman. Let's make that a title. Capitalize to show the respect. Before that, I will... I will go to the nearby village. And gather a few more supplies. I know I don't type fast, but if you keep in mind I'm typing with two fingers and the occasional thumb, I think that's pretty good. There. Yes, please do enter it. So that way I do have the vanilla entries, I do have the mod journal entries, but I can I can add a little bit of flavor in between, which is, um, well, it's good for me. For you, you just have to watch me. <laughs> All right, and by the way, let's have a look at the spells and powers that we have, besides the power of our little fists. Ancestor Guardian is Sanctuary. I was so convinced that this was a summon ghost. That's... Did we all survive? It looks like we did. Call Wolf Companion, that's going to be useful, but it's a power. Lightning Shield, wait not. This is going to come in handy. Absorb Fatigue could be quite useful. Command a creature, sure. Lesser Bound Bow. It's not something I wish to use, and it's not something I wish to allow myself to use. Wasn't there wasn't there a something to do to delete a spell? Maybe not. Or maybe I did not enable it in the Morrowind code patch. Guys, I know there's a way to delete delete spells, but I never, you know, played a mage character, so I don't really know. If you do, please do do let me know. I'll try it. Because lesser bone bow, lesser bound dagger, these are not really spells. I should be allowed to use and I'd rather not have them. Spirit summoning, that's going to be very useful. Summon scamp, I don't want to have any power over remove spell. Shift click, let's try that. Yes, it is shift click, thank you. Uh, remove spell with the, yes I could use the, the console, that's true. But I knew there was a like a, a regular it is, thanks a lot. So lesser bound bow, we don't do that. Uh, lesser bound dagger, we're not allowed to use that. Summon scamp, we're not allowed to use that. I hope I'm not going divine intervention. We're not allowed to use that. Oh, drain soul trap, soul trap, why not? Sure, restoration is good. Bound shield. No. Holy word. Turn undead. Yes, I should have the power to turn undead. Even though it's probably one of the least useful spells ever. Who knows? By the way, how do you like the, the icons for the spells? They are mana users. Like Mana user is most known for his graphic herbalism mod. But he's made a couple of other little mods and I like them. I, I do like those icons for for magic. And uh, and I also really like he has a little dialogue mod for companions. Very nifty things and, and I like it. That's it. Lock. Why not? Why not? Why not? We definitely want to keep that. Weariness, drain, fatigue. Now even though destruction is not what I want to use to drain fatigue makes sense for someone fighting with fists. So we keep that. Okay, let's go to Pelagiad. Sell some stuff. And, uh, 
and then go to the camp. It's not going to be a hard journey because this little guy takes me to all four camps. We are picking up ingredients because we want to be we want to be an alchemist. We are a budding alchemist. We are not too stupid. 35. I mean, 35 is not bad. Oh, I do have Morrowind enhanced. So as soon as I get the chance. Oh yeah, I do make witty comments. Pelagia is an imperial settlement. I will uh, I will have to you know. What's the word? I can't think of the word. I will have to bear. I'll have to bear the sight of them. I mean there's no point being like rejecting absolutely everything. And if I want to trade nearby, it's that or Sadanin. So no, I'm not going to avoid uh, imperial settlements like the plague, I don't think. That's a different music. Also, I do need to go to Pelagia because I left my loot there. I know, I'm not a bard. My barding days are over, but I do want to have a loot. <laughs> Swallow my pride and do must what be done. That's exactly it. You know what, I'm gonna use that quote in the journal. Swallow my pride and do what must be done. We have a little bit of a... We saw it the last time. Texture seam right there. Uh, speaking of textures, uh, what I did with this install, first I went with the step guide to make sure everything was, uh, you know, not HD but MD as uh, some of the packs said. And then I installed the textures I wanted in particular. I really, really wanted to play with Mr. Swiveller's textures. So this, this, the rocks and the grass and the plants, that's his. However, the trees are from the Seasons mod. The only thing that I really couldn't stand from, um, from the pack was how Mr. Swiveller's textures made the mushroom a bright neon pink and that's what I was saying uh, yesterday, right? Bright neon pink might be bearable here because it's so green and all that. But when you go to Sadrith Mora, it just doesn't work. So instead I put those gorgeous, gorgeous mushrooms. Uh, whose mushrooms are they? It's in the mod list. Is it Peterbit? Maybe? Uh oh, people. People, friend or foe? I wish there was a spell. So excuse me, I don't have time right now. Oh, the thing is, nobody is going to talk to me until I've uh, moved forward with the main quest. Like the first time, they just don't want to talk to me. I'm going to have to go and talk to the wise woman as soon as possible. Yes, Prof, I think it's Peter Beat, indeed. I don't know the without the distance it's all very gray and I don't know if it's better next week we'll try we'll try the with the distance and uh, and the trees changing sort of appearing disappearing shimmering in the distance you'll tell me what you think this is one of my favorite textures for the the common tile set and imperial sniff somebody said Hey Nelos, where are you going? All right, in the tavern, we have our loot. Now this loot, 
allows me to do two things. That's something I uh, showcased a while ago because it said Bart in the title and you know me, Bart, I had to look at it. So what happens with this one is you have to be in and in at 6 p.m. to give a performance and make some money. Otherwise it does nothing. So you can't really make a living, but for the amateur Bart, it works. Ah! Lady! Oh, you're a bard. Why, well, she's giving a bad reputation to bards, honestly. Okay, I'm just going to ignore you now. Can you believe this? Honestly. That's a lot of people in here. Alright, you. I don't like you, but do I have any way to make you like me? I don't think so. 45, not great, but fishing rod, to be perfectly honest, I don't need the fishing rod. I don't have necessities of Morrowind. We'll keep all of that. We definitely keep the bottles because we need to, she's fallen on bad times. <laughs> nice one on you and I'm giving you a pun point for that one. And uh, you can uh, you can exchange your pun point for watermelons on the Discord. D not saying that the watermelons are more useful, but <laughs> there you go. What is that? Netch jelly. Okay. So this is everything I have to sell. Let's try to get a 90 for it. I don't need any of your weapons. Apparel, I'm fine with my Ashlander garbs for the time being. Potion, you only have booze, so that's a no thank you. And ingredients, restore fatigue, restore fatigue and mark. You know what, let's get all of them. There we go. Can I trade watermelons for pun points? It's one way only. Pun points have to, have to be earned by wits and spirits. Uh, what's his name? Mebestian. Is he is he an imperial or a Breton actually? Is Mebestian an Imperial or a Breton? No. Unfortunately, he's not going to tell me anything about himself until I... Hmm. Okay, let's go a different route. You think you'll keep your pun points? I hear rumors of watermelon smuggling. <laughs> really? Um, Pelagiad is a typical Imperial... There, that is my my little rent on the prices in Pelagiad. Shame on you, lady. Okay, we're going back home. We'll see if uh, with the ingredients that we have. The ones we'll be collecting along the way, such as crash weed and more flowers and ash yams and fire ferns. Okay, I'll stop naming everything I pick up. It's gonna get old before I, before I, it gets funny again, I guess. There's a rat over there, but I do not wish to fight with it. We have crabs, 
No, I don't really want to fight with them just yet. But marshmallow is good for healing. Oh, I really like the texture of these. Yes, I want to fill the empty bottles with water, thank you. No slaughter fish. This is a good day. <sighs> Indeed. All right, we go home, we make a few potions and we travel. Who knows, maybe this is going to become a bestseller. One of the best uh, fan fiction ever. Apprentice Mortar and Retort. Okay. I do have Alchemy Filter, but I don't have that many ingredients just yet. And it's not like I know a lot of things. Fortify Intelligence, Fortify Endurance, Strength, Fatigue, Resist Blight Disease. I have not installed uh, Blight Restored. I was not brave enough to do that. Restore Magicka could be useful. Restore Health, definitely. Let's see if I have anything else with the Restore Magicka. Apparently not at this point. Mm. Fortify. Fine, let's just do a couple of uh, restore health and restore fatigue. Marshmallow. I've made two, two or three potions. Yay, me. Let's do a bit of restore fatigue. Um Wait, Soul Trice is also restore health, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, I really like that's something I forgot about. You'll tell me what you think. These are the potions. These are, uh, I believe, an old friend potion. And they look gorgeous. They really, they look like jewels, I think. But then the, the icons really don't tell me anything and I worry I'll spend a lot of time going, uh, what is it, what is it? We'll see. If it gets too bad, I'll install the one that changes the icons of the potions with their effect. Even though it's not as uh, pretty, it's um well it's still pretty good no there's no one there we're good we, we're good we're going we're traveling back to Orshilaku we are from uh, the Orshilaku tribe and I see I'm slightly tired and thirsty and hungry before I forget let's use the Tempus Fujit ring and I don't remember what uh, what you suggested as the best time, the best uh, ratio for time passing. Shall I go for it times two? Oh uh, no, that's not it. No, no, no. One hour. I mean, if I go for one hour in real time, being sixteen of uh, fifteen hours in game. It means if I if I play the game for three hours, which I usually do, I'm gonna have to eat, drink and sleep three times. Well, sleep once. So I'm going to reduce that. One to eight hours. 
we'll see how it is if it turns out that now I never feel hungry or thirsty we'll tweak it pretty let's talk to the wise women and that's the one Hello, Nibani Mesa. I've been expecting you, Shinral. Yes, I've been having strange dreams. Strange dreams indeed. And you say these are frequent. Interesting. Nevertheless, these dreams are harmless. You shouldn't worry too much. But is there no cure to end these nightmares of mine? Perhaps, but it is dangerous. The ingredients I require come from a blighted Nyx hound. Bring me its meat and I will create an elixir to seize your nightmares. Bring me the flesh. What about the red mountain? It's a great mountain of fire in the center of Ardenfell. The outer slopes are steep and rugged and the crater is deep and filled with burning rocks. Beasts and servants of the devil Dagoth Ur live in red mountain. The settled people built a magical barrier called Ghost fence. Is it the settled people? I thought it was the tribunal. To keep the evils inside, within the ghost fence, rain never falls and the sun never shines. The only weather is the red and deadly ash blight. Lovely. She's selling it, isn't she? Hydrating. Thank you. Right. I'm going to have to make sure I read pretty much everything the Ashlanders have to say so I can um, absorb the Ashlander culture with Sarah that's that's me indeed all right I'm gonna have to do a good good save here and that's when we want to get the meat with a capital E so what now I won't pretend I don't know what I need to do because I did find before the blighted Nyx Hound and I believe it was this way but now obviously it's a little dark there can't miss it, it's really big I don't think I can impress it with the loot I'm gonna have my little feast ready and I think I'm gonna get ready to summon a ghost Otherwise, I'm never going to make it. Hey, <laughs> Norm, welcome back indeed. It's neat with a capital E. That's the best kind of neat. Uh, can you change an ESM file or does it need to, need to be an ESP file? In what context, King? I mean, you can, you can change uh, quite easily an ESM into an ESP and vice versa. Do Ashlanders have teleport rings? Well, not in vanilla that I know of. And I don't think I put mods in there that give me one. So we'll see how it goes. Um, everyone is high-fiving Norm. Apparently my hand was malfunctioning. <laughs> it's okay, it's the intention that counts. Uh, Skink, what did you mean with the ESP and the ESM? In the meanwhile, I'm getting my ghost, I'm getting my fists. I have saved. Proacte, indeed. Oof, that thing hurts. Ghost. Ghost, you're not helping me very well. I'm paralyzed. I'm losing. I'm, I'm dying. It's a good thing I made those potions. I'm going to drink both of them because right now I'm really, really scared. How did you get to this camp? Uh, there's a little guar. There's a little guar that was right next to my tent. I'm over encumbered. What? It's a good thing I, I saved. Uh, I was over encumbered. And apparently Ashlanders, they die. When they have just this little bit health left, they die. I don't think the construction set lets you designate an ASM as the active plugin for editing. No, you'd have to use a different program to turn them into an ESP. 
In the meanwhile, yes, let's reload meat with a capital. <laughs>